what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for all of you that subscribed commented liked i really appreciate it i'm so happy we can connect on a different form of social media it's a little different on youtube i feel like i can actually talk to you and i want you to know that i'm listening to your feedback i want to give you guys the content you want to see i want to make you happy i figured i would start today's video by answering a couple of instagram questions hopefully nothing too crazy some of you are so crazy so i'm gonna look at the comments on this picture this is my most recent diet update i am down to 184.8 pounds does anyone have any good ideas of what i should call this diet series because i don't want to call it summer diet that's a little lack in creativity comment below if you have a suggestion for a name for my diet series let's take a look at some questions questions how long did it take for you to see change in your abdominal area so i get this question a lot people often ask how can I lose weight in my stomach? How can I lose weight in my feet? I wish I could give you a nice answer, but the truth is you can't really spot lose fat. You kind of just have to overall lose fat and it will come off where it chooses to come off. Personally, I hold a lot of fat in my hips and lower back, my inner thighs. Just stay consistent, stay consistent with your diet, drink a lot of water, get to the gym, and you'll be fine. It'll come off your stomach eventually. Someone said they're totally struggling with their diet. This can be tough. What I'm gonna say is, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And you have to start with a plan. If you are interested in a plan, I have a nutrition guide. And it's the structure of the weight loss program that I follow. I'm currently following it. So if you're interested, check it out. I'll link it down below. Someone said, how are you losing weight so easily? I've been trying so hard and I'm barely moving any weight. So one thing I will say is I'm finding it a lot easier this time around than last year. Last year I begun at like 245 pounds or something. Um, I gained a lot of fat and I had no muscle. So I was working a little bit harder last year to get the weight off. What I have found now, now that I've put on some muscle, it's much easier for me to lose fat. There's a whole explanation for that, but that's for another video. So stay tuned for that one. How often do you plan on uploading on YouTube? Um, I'm thinking like once or twice a week. I really am enjoying it, honestly. I really like this. I like interacting with you guys. Um, I'm definitely getting used to this camera thing. Maybe once or twice a week to start. We'll see how you guys like it. If you love it, then I'll just keep churning them out. I would like to try out your program. Do you have a website or how I can get hold of such? Yes, I have a website. It's www.marieasyfitness.com. Mari is spelled M-A-R-I. That is my name. For any of you wondering, that's how you pronounce it, Mari. Like calamari. <laughs> a lot of people said, how tall are you? I'm 5'11". I'm probably like 5'10 and a half. More like 5'11". I'm, I'm a tall tall lady someone said so i've been trying to tone down have fat to lose should i do more cardio or weights or something like you're doing so as i said before even last year i lost most of my weight weightlifting i probably weightlifted for two months solidly losing weight last year before i even begun cardio um it's what i prefer and i think a lot of people don't realize you burn a lot of calories when you're lifting weights when you're lifting heavy weights you burn a ton of calories. Um, obviously a little cardio here and there to speed up the process. The way I would say I transformed my body was weightlifting. But I'm gonna make a whole video about it, so just wait. How often are you doing weigh-ins? I would recommend to do every three days. I used to do it every single day, which is a little silly because you're not gonna see progress on a day-to-day -day basis necessarily. Your weight can be affected by so many things, like if you're a little bit bloated, if you're holding water, your weight's gonna be more than it actually is, if you've had a little bit too much sodium, maybe. So I would do every three days. How do you find time to work out or balance everything? I'm having the hardest time trying to fit everything in. Yeah, so it's tough. I guess what I would say is I have just made the gym a part of my routine it's just become a habit for me so if I go a day without it 
it feels like something's missing for me. It's never a choice in my head, should I go or should I not go? I just always go. Um, but it's also good to allocate a day that is a rest day because otherwise you're gonna burn out, you know, and you need to give your body time to rest. And mentally you need time to rest. You don't wanna be in the same place every single day. Um, and the cool thing about weightlifting is you can switch it up every day. And I really like that. Someone tell me what four boob is. I've been seeing that. Is that like armpit fat? What is four boob? What exercises would you recommend to lose weight from around your hips, bottom, lower belly, and thighs? As I said, ladies, you gotta lose it. Just gotta lose fat all over. All right, we'll stay with that for now. So I just wanna talk to you about where I'm at in this diet and my goals and everything. So I'm on week three right now. I'm 184 pounds, 0.8. I don't really have a goal for weight. My lowest weigh-in ever last year was 169 pounds. And I, I, for me, that was really tiny. Um, I know that sound maybe sounds a little heavy for some people. I was really small, I was very flat. One thing I did last year that I'm trying not to do this year is I think I went a little bit too fast. As most of you know, I hit like a pretty rough part of my life last year, which is kind of what brought on my fitness journey. I was just desperate to lose weight and feel good again. And I went really fast. And because of that, I kind of crashed and burned by the end of the summer. It was really nice to take that break where I was bulking, I was putting on muscle, eating a lot of food. This time I wanna do it a little bit more slowly, maintain a lot more muscle. So far it's going really well. What I like to do is I like to kind of have event goals. So whether that be like, oh, I'm going to my, my boyfriend's pool in two weeks. Like I wanna look banging at the pool. Last year my motivation was super emotional all the time. Like when I would go to the gym, I would, you know, I'd would get to a very emotional place because I was thinking, you know, I just want, I want it to be a better person. I want to be the, the better version of me. Um, I was very unhappy with where I was at. So I was just working harder and harder to get out of it. Now I am pretty happy with where I'm at. So the motivation is definitely coming from a different place. I still have to motivate myself. I still want to be a better person. I also have you guys now. Believe it or not, you guys motivate me so much. And the one other thing I have motivating me is that we are going on a trip, me and my boyfriend Greg, we are going to Guadalupe, March 23rd. Hype, hype, hype. It is depressing and cold outside. Let me show you. All right, well, this isn't a very good example, but um, I'm very much enjoying being on YouTube. I love you guys so much. If you like the video, please thumbs it up so I know to make more content like this. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. I'm gonna be trying to upload as much as I can, giving you guys as much info as I can. Thank you for those of you who commented so fast on my last video. I love you guys. I love the involvement. I love connecting with you. So yeah, I'm very excited and I'll talk to you guys soon.